Guys, we're moving to Miami. We need a theme song, but we only have twenty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it for five. <laughs> I'm doing for a can of beans. I'm starving. And a happy meal. <laughs> and a nice warm bed to spend the night in. It burned a arcade. Greetings and welcome back to Infernal Arcade. <laughs> <laughs> We were just talking about um, <laughs> some missed opportunities with the game mechanics of this game. <laughs> like um, punishing you for eating raw meat or something. <laughs> you get you have got E. coli. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, now I get now I can use metal. Whew. Uh. Oh, and you can't <laughs> use the other stuff because it burns, God. It burns, motherfucker, burn. burn mother- <laughs> we don't need no water, met the motherfucker burn. Okay, let's get better prepared. Link has attracted E. coli. (laughs) Contracted. (laughs) I'm just going to need the rest for a little bit. I can't. Oh, oh, shit. This is going to be one of those episodes or series where all we're doing is just making fun of uh, Creed. So I apologize if you're a Creed fan. I'm offended. Actually, no. I'm gonna look you. I'm gonna look you dead in the internet eyes and say, Why? "What is wrong with you? Why?" <sighs> you guys go on my most played songs. It's just all of Creed's <laughs> albums. I'm secretly crying, making fun of him. How do you dare you make fun of him? <laughs> like some bands, I get like, like, like. Nickelback is another one. Oh, oh God, God, no. Like... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> even even Coldplay, like... No. Like, what do you know? Like, I, I don't like Coldplay. I'm I sorry. Like, I like Coldplay. I like no. their first three albums. Everything else is horrible. <laughs> you don't like Milo Silent? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I do not. Well, it was, it was like my favorite one that they've done. And, no. then, like, every, and then everything just kind of... <laughs> <laughs> Parachutes, Rush of Blood to the Head, and X and Y are their best albums. Otherwise, then it just goes down. Like yeah, no. I thought it was like their last great album. Viva La Vida is like a pile of horse no, shit. No, 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 fuck that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck that one. <laughs> all right. Enough about Coldplay. <laughs> <laughs> Before all our viewers leave. God, all they do is talk about Coldplay and Creed. Why? <laughs> Why are they bashing my favorite bands? <laughs> Next thing they're going to say something bad about Justin Bieber. Well, let me tell you about Justin Bieber. <laughs> that man can suck a dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's too easy. Let's just, let's just, let's just deviate from that. Uh-huh. I'm going to get so much shit from, like, from Spiffy. When I <laughs> <laughs> Why, she likes Justin Bieber? No, like... Just the fact that I'm talking about Coldplay on the internet is good. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, like I said, their first three albums I listen to all the time. They're so good, but then they just went so mainstream, and I don't want to sound like a hipster for saying, oh, my God, it's so mainstream. Oh, my God. But it God. did. Mainstream is what they went, and it's not as good anymore. Look at mm. her butt. Anyway, we are still talking about Coldplay. <laughs> and their tickets are bullshit expensive, so I'm never going to be able to see them live. I think I can, I think I can live with that. <laughs> He doesn't mean it's spiffy. <laughs> um, I just say like, I can't believe that like that um the other night it was Metallica and Paul McCartney on the same night. No, Paul McCartney was Thursday. No, Paul McCartney was uh, the it same was night. Thursday. No. I could have sworn it was Thursday. Maybe in Orlando. <clears throat> no, I think it was Thursday. Because Metallica played Thursday. No, yeah, because um No, Metallica played Friday. They played Friday, but they also played in um Orlando. Right, but I. Well, because, anyway, I thought I thought it was a day apart. But. No, no, I'm positive because um, there's a couple of people that were like, you know, like oh, yeah, especially behind me, they're like oh, they had tickets to come here, but then they ended up getting tickets to Paul McCartney instead, and hey, ended up going to Paul. Hey, you fucked up. I'm looking. I'm looking this up. Oh, these guys don't melt in the lava. Come oh. on. Aren't those the fire those albums? Yeah, obviously, because sure. they're not. There we go. (laughs) 
But yeah, I'm positive Paul McCartney was playing the same night. God, he did play July 7th. I Fuck told me. you. All right. <laughs> Gosh, no one listens to me. Oh, oh <laughs> Because wah, I kind of swore and me and Nina wanted to go, and we saw it was the day before, and we're like, no, nah, we can't go. But yeah. 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 It's okay. Yeah, I would... If it between seeing Paul McCartney and Metallica, I'm happy I saw Metallica. But yeah, I mean, but let's be honest though. We want to listen to Paul McCartney for his Beatles stuff. Does he play the Beatles stuff? Because his Wings stuff is kind of. I want to say he does. Like Band on the Run is like it. Band on the Run. Well, I like Live and Let Die, but that's about. Yeah. Um. Sorry. What if um. What if it was okay? So it was like yesterday's situation. Metallica's playing. I think I already know what you guys are gonna say. Metallica's playing, Paul McCartney's playing. You had guaranteed backstage access to one show and one show only, where you can do like a meet and greet. Which band? Metallica. Yeah, yeah Metallica. I knew you guys. I knew it. James Hetfield just seems like fun. Oh my god, that's the one thing I loved about the show last night. Was yeah, it was last night. Was that like it? It wasn't that they're just performing with it. It looked like they're actually like having a lot of fun on stage. Yeah, they look like they're still having fun, like their Garage Band days. It's crazy. Exactly. So like that right there, I was just like, this is. This is pleasant. magic. This is pleasant. And and I like how he didn't like get political. He's like, look, we don't give a shit. You're all Metallica family. Blah, We're blah, all blah. fans, and we love each other. Yeah, seriously. You don't expect that from a Metallica concert. Yeah, no. You expect, are you ready, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> we to die! <laughs> uh but no, they were they were super cool. That was that was a great concert. Oh, I was so happy. Okay. Pyrotechnics <laughs> were fun. I know. But that's what I'm saying. Like they had flamethrowers and everything. You think out? They would they would play fuel. I know. It's like missed opportunity. I know. Like your friend said, they were playing during a lightning storm and they didn't play right. Oh the yeah, lightning. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would have been awesome on his situation. Not for us because we weren't there. Yeah, we weren't there. So <laughs> fuck them. <laughs> Wait, hold on. if I may interrupt for a second, you have a, you have a nice sword, right? Yeah. You said arm it. Yeah, but then like, what if there's like a bad boss guy that I can use it against. (laughs) (laughs) Terry's easily easily converted. Alright, fuck you. Terry, have you heard about the giant spaghetti monster? Uh oh. (laughs) No, don't. Please go on. (laughs) Please, do explain. Enlighten me. Hey, remember that one time Dan uh, chose the woodcutter axe? I can't hit them with fire because they're fire. They're use the sword. Hold the on. Ice sword. I, can, <laughs> I can't kill them without you, it. You can use your woodcutter axe. I, yeah, I can actually because, you know. <laughs> it's a top tier weapon. It is, actually. Let's do the double axe. Ooh. But no, 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 uh. no. No, 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 no. No. Stop it. Oh, nice. Stop. Jeez, you're like a savant with the freaking <laughs> bow and arrow. Run. Yeah, I try. <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah no it was fantastic the show and I, I i'm so happy that we got to see them i know you're a huge slipknot fan would you say it was huge. the best concert you've ever been to <laughs> um i can't answer that like unbiasedly yeah <laughs> but truth be told like it was definitely top tier you know this is going to be one of those like yeah Definitely. Concert spank bank kind of things. <laughs> <laughs> really wish I was. <laughs> <laughs> and like one of the things that like I actually appreciated because it's kind of like um, it's kind of like a little like personal high horse that I'll get on. It, it's bad when Metallica tells you to like get off your fucking phone and enjoy the show. Oh that my you're god! At. So many people are. Like, everything, people need to tell everybody everything and show them how their lives are better than yours. It's <laughs> fucking annoying. As someone with very low self-esteem, I... I thrive off it. I, can, <laughs> <laughs> I, I need constant validation. <laughs> oh, Witness me! <laughs> I'm doing a thing! <laughs> I'm not sitting in my underwear at home eating fried chicken, <laughs> watching anime. <laughs> I am doing something. <laughs> I'm doing the Lord's work here, people. <laughs> and uh, boom. But um, I'm trying to get better with it, though. Like, I don't, I don't need anyone. Like, I don't need to document every aspect of my life. Like, I tried. Like, I used to be really bad with it. 
I no, think- but like, um, I don't mean to interrupt, but like taking pictures and like you know recording like a concert. There's nothing wrong with that, but like, for example, at the concert, there's a person sitting in front of us, and I guess well, there are a couple. I guess like the husband was too lazy to do any kind of like his own social media. So the, either the girlfriend or the wife like had his phone and her phone like double fisting phones, one <laughs> recording and then the other one Snapchatting and like texting oh, the world. God, I I seriously wanted to just like break like break her phone in half. It just it was <laughs> yeah. annoying as shit. Yeah, for real. Yeah. Stop chasing me. When when I saw Ninja Sex Party, like I just like totally disregarded it entirely. It yeah, because like, I mean like. I mean, it's again, it's not it's one thing to like, you know, take pictures and record something for your own personal memory because there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. But like I feel like if you're just if that's your 100 percent focus is to document the entire thing, you're not really enjoying it. Yeah. Like the whole, like the concert itself is fucking awesome because like it's <laughs> like they like we were like, the crowd was on a fucking mission because they were uh, like. I heard something about like the bras or something like that. Yeah, Danny Sexman like made the mistake of telling everyone that because like people started throwing bar- bras on stage. <laughs> so like, so like, it's like he he casually mentioned at one at one concert on their tour that they the record was was ten bras and leave it to Florida to oh, challenge God. that. They it was just a fucking maelstrom of bras, just like <laughs> one after another throughout the remaining of the concert. Dude, I don't just, know if that's something they want to keep. What they're like not washed or something. who knows? I mean, I, I wouldn't mean, be surprised like if I mean, some of that was spontaneous bra throwing. I mean, Brian was just trying to see how I many he can fit like in his pants. Oh, <laughs> God! And before you know, like seventy plus bras were <laughs> in his pants, <laughs> and he was just like, "Holy shit! What the fuck did I just do?" <laughs> like, I, I'll remember that for the rest of my life. That was. It was like so will he because he's gonna get chlamydia. <laughs> <laughs> are you getting, how do you get chlamydia from, from <laughs> Luke? Do we need to have a talk? <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was the right thing to say. <laughs> I was trying to be cool. <laughs> All the kids these days are talking about chlamydia. <laughs> rubbing, rubbing their tits on infected penises. <laughs> It's a it's the thing to do. That's not how this works. <laughs> That's not how any of this works. My mom lied to me. <laughs> Said babies came from a stork. Uh, <sighs> well, on that note, <laughs> stay safe. Don't get chlamydia from bras, and we'll catch you on the next episode. If you See are, you're doing it. Wrong. Are you guys gonna <laughs> give me the talk now? I or, need the talk. We're gonna have to give Luke a talk. All right. <laughs> See you later. Easy guys. Oh, you.